Welcome back to my channel it is Brittany so this is my first review back from having braids and I'm super excited to be back so today's video is brought to you by curly me so I have this M cap wig that is a yakky straight texture and I'm excited to tell you guys all about it so if you're interested in hearing what I have to say about this wig then just keep on watching Yo, you guys saw in the intro that today's video is brought to you by curly me so I have another one of their um, M cap wigs and this is going to be a yakky straight M cap wig which you know yakky textures and kinky straight textures are some of my favorite textures to review so while I'm doing the unboxing for you guys on the screen I'm gonna go ahead and read the specs for you guys this is their 24 inch M cap yakky straight wig it has pre bleached knots it has pre-cut lace and the hairline is pre-plucked so this is 24 inches as i said the hair texture is yakky straight and the density is 180 the lace is hd lace so with this wig they describe this texture as they say it's already straightened it's going to be straighter than regular kinky hair kinky straight hair so you know kinky straight hair and yakky and yakky textures are totally different they're similar but different usually kinky straight is thicker and more full and then yakky is lighter density so this one is in between and they say that whatever wig that i have is the wig that you guys will also receive so i ain't got nothing to do with that but that is what their claim is i'm going to try this on and see what we're working with now mcat wigs took over last year and i am a big fan because you don't have to do as much work and it's good for all skill levels you can be a, a very much a beginner and enjoy these wigs. So just a little bit more about this in case you don't know anything about MCAT wigs. So they have, this is a 9x6 Swiss HD lace wig. So you do have a lot of area to part, but you don't have that 13x6 um, going from ear to ear. But to me, I just feel like it's more convenient not to you know have lace going ear to ear so i like the nine by six it's more comfortable it has that dome 3d dome design to fit your head and it does have a ear fitted c-shaped design around the ear you'll see that with the with the m cap without the hair on it that i show you guys on the screen and then it has removable clips and everything so they have like this this kit here with all the accessories in there and in it comes and in it comes the removable clips and adjustable straps so you have that then you have one long removable clip and then two more here so now let's try this wig on out of all the wigs like human hair wigs i've tried in the last year i would highly recommend the mcat wigs because i don't think i've had any that i didn't like i might not like the texture because I've tried like two silky ones and that this it was too silky for me but the lace and the construction was super high quality so now that they have like more you know texture options I don't think you can go wrong with with these at all you just have to do a little bit of trimming the lace a little bit more and I have on a black wig cap because it just always works out for me because if you do like a flesh tone and you don't do the ball cap method you usually can see your your wig cap through your lace so I'm adjusting the adjustable elastic band because it was a little loose. So what I've noticed about MCAT wigs, yes, it does come with pre-cut lace, but it's still a little bit too much for me. And I recently tried a kinky straight MCAT wig in January. And it was beautiful like absolute perfection but it was a little thick so this is like a perfect happy medium because i tried the super silky texture but this one is like the perfect dense it's lightweight it's is very pretty so six feet tall as i tell you guys all the time this is where the 24 inches falls on me gorgeous density the 180 is perfect it's not too thick I will probably hit it with a little bit of um, 
heat from my flat iron because it has been in packaging for for a while but first what I always do is I always bring it down on my forehead and I cut it a little bit more so it makes sense so I'm gonna clip this out the way this is a gorgeous texture already the texture is a 10 it's beautiful okay now ideally I wouldn't use these big scissors but I can't find my small ones so we're just gonna roll with it and I'm just gonna be cutting up and down These wigs have made my life so much easier. I'm talking, they're easier than synthetic wigs. Cause usually historically it's been like, human hair wigs have been A, more expensive, and then you have to put so much work into the install. So MCAT wigs are it. If anybody, you know, you're trying to, you're interested in taking a dip into lace wigs, I think these are a great option. I, I haven't tried one that's bad at all. It's just like a texture preference. Like, I haven't put anything on here. It already looks good to me. I'm just going to slide it back and then we're going to decide on what lace color, what tint I'm going to use for my lace. I, I might use, I do have my mocha from Plotio here because this one's a little bit deeper. I'm going to try my Wet n Wild Where's Walnut and see what that's, that's like. Oh, that's a nice match. Okay. I've never used this on my lace. My Wet n Wild and Where's Walnut. It's good. It's a little bit more subtle than my um, Plotio Mocha. So, that is a good blend. And um, I know this will be a flawless install if I glue it down, you know. But I'm... Well, the lace is sticking up right there, so I might have to, I might have to do a little bit of spray, but not like everywhere. You just got to play around with whatever um, contour shade that you use or foundation that you choose to use because it's just going to vary from person to person. But my contour usually gets the job done for me. Okay, so that is what it's looking like there. I feel like I need to trim this lace back a little bit because it's a little, a little, This is what this wig looks like. Fresh out the pack. I gotta straighten this part up. This part straight. I love this texture. It's so good. And it's like, even though this is 180 with the density, it's a natural density with this texture. So, some ladies might not like, um, you know, when wigs are super thick. And I get that. So, this is a, a happy medium right here.
right guys so you have seen the installation process and everything I'm gonna get into like the pros and the cons so honestly there aren't many cons to it I lately have liked wearing wigs that have a leave out because they absolute most natural lace in certain lighting can look unnatural so I tend to like leave out with my wigs but some of the best lace I have seen has been on the MCAP wigs. This looks good and it is 100% glueless. I don't even have any foam or anything on it. I'm wearing it 100% glueless. But if you want your lace to be like melted down, you can opt to do the foam method that Kyra Shine does all the time with laying her wigs down. Or you can use, you know, your temporary adhesive spray here. This is probably what I'm going to do, uh when I go out uh, because I mean this looks really good glueless but it's gonna look even better when I melt it down so I don't have any cons with this wig because it's really customizable and it's very beginner friendly in my opinion and I've tried you guys know I've tried I've tried hundreds of wigs and this is super beginner friendly I really like this texture because it's the happy medium between silky and a kinky straight wig it's somewhere in the middle that's that nice luster to it because it's a yakky texture with the silkier textures um they they have a high shine but i prefer my lusters to be low like this because my natural hair when it's silk pressed um it's not going to have a super high luster so this just looks more natural to me and this has the density of the silky one that was more on the thin side but this just makes sense with you know the warmer moms approaching and I live in the south so it's already like starting to heat up so I think this is a beautiful texture and a beautiful uh, density overall I'm very impressed with this wig and I know I know it's gonna look even better when when it's melted down but I wanted to give you guys a look at what it looks like glueless just in case you're somebody that's like I don't want to do do all of that the only thing you have to do is tinge your lace and cut your lace back a little bit more even though it's pre-cut this is how it is with all the ones i've tried to have pre-cut lace they leave a little bit more on there for you guys but i you know have to trim mine up so it just makes sense so this is very pretty and with this density and texture it just looks very natural to me and that was my only thing with the silky one i was like it would be fine if it was a yakky texture and it was that thin because it looks like somebody's hair that's super long and just pressed out has a natural density to it and it's lightweight so this is a beautiful wig I did do a sunlight test for you guys and I already talked about that sunlight test direct sunlight looks amazing in low lighting you'll see the lace but at the end of the day it's still a wig but but there's levels to how natural your lace is gonna look even though it's a wig and I think this looks pretty good especially with it being with no adhesive at all so if you're interested in this wig from curly me you can head over to their website Shout out to them for sponsoring today's video. If you like this wig, I'll have everything linked in my description box. Any coupon codes that are available, they'll be down there as well. Make sure to follow me on all of my social media platforms. They will be linked in the description box too. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you feel about this wig. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.